Hey everybody, it's Greg, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to review the Learn SQL Basics for Data Science Specialization offered by the University of California, Davis on Coursera. So this is a great one. Uh, if you wanna learn SQL, this is a really good way to do it uh, and get a specialization which puts a certificate on your LinkedIn to show that you know SQL, never a bad idea at all. Okay, I'm gonna do a full review. So we see here 4.5 stars on 6,000 ratings. 6,000 ratings is uh, kind of in the middle of, there's a fair amount of people that have done this, but also it's a lot less than some of the bigger ones. Um, but either way, from a statistics point of view, 4.5 star rating on 6,000 ratings, pretty much tells you that the people like it in general, but maybe there's a, a little bit missing. So let's see what that might be. So use SQL commands to filter, sort, and summarize data, manipulate strings, dates, and numerical data from different sources of analysis. That sounds fair, basically, working with data um, in a simpler kind of fashion. So this is basically simple queries uh, using SQL with all the different data types. Use the collaborative Databricks workspace and create an end-to-end -end pipeline that reads data, transforms it, and saves the result. This is missing in most uh, areas of learning SQL, and so it's a really good idea that they put that in there. Uh, assess and create data sets to solve your business questions and problems using SQL. Okay, so not just actually just querying stuff, it's saying, hey, how do we actually solve business problems? What sort of questions might you want to answer when you're using SQL? Very important to understand that. Develop a project proposal and select your data, perform statistical analysis and develop metrics and present your findings and make recommendations, okay? So again, taking it one step further, I absolutely love that. So basically it's querying and it's going all the way from simple querying to more complex querying to actually solving business questions and uh, making a pipeline. It's absolutely wonderful beginner level, so they don't assume uh, really anything here at all. Maybe having a decent understanding of what data is, like numbers and text, uh, and maybe if you've used Excel, that would definitely help. But other than that, you know, it's probably fine. So skills you will gain, data analysis, Apache Spark, Data Lake, SQL Data Science, SQLite, A-B testing, query string, predictive analytics, presentation skills, creating metrics, exploratory data analysis. They did a really good job of these skills. A lot of the time they're just kind of loaded uh, and there's like duplicates and it doesn't really make sense. This is wonderful. Okay, so you see data analysis, uh, Apache Spark, which is the modern way to do this stuff, SQL and data science. Data science is a little bit of a stretch. I don't think they're gonna go too, too much into what data science entails, but that's still fair. Uh, and all this stuff, really wonderful skills, much more than just simple, like doing uh, simple queries in SQL which is very important, but uh, it's good to take it a step further. What you see here, distributed computing using Apache Spark. This is so, so important, and I'm so, so glad that they do this. So let's take a more of a deep dive. So I'm not really gonna go into the instructors other than a very quick look. They are you know, competent people. I personally haven't heard of any of them, although you can see obviously they are, are excellent people. So courses. There are four courses in specialization. The first one is SQL for data science. So as data collection has increased exponentially, that's true, it definitely has and is continuing to be, so has the need for people skilled at using and interacting with data to be able to think critically and provide insights to make better decisions and optimize their business, 100%, okay? So you need to learn how to use data and SQL is one of the most common ways to do that. Uh, one of the favorite tools amongst many, many, many different people. So here, this course is designed to give you a primer in the fundamentals of SQL and working with data so that you can begin analyzing it for data science purposes. You'll begin to ask the right questions and come up with good answers to deliver valuable insights for your organization. It starts with the basics and assumes you don't have any knowledge or skills in SQL. It will build on that foundation and gradually have you write both simple and complex queries to help you select from tables. So starting from simple, getting more and more complex queries to answer more and more complicated questions. It's a really important skill, especially for interviews, by the way. If you're trying to get a job, then absolutely, you are gonna need to know this stuff really well. So that's basically course one. You're gonna learn all about SQL itself. Even if you were to just do course one, you would get a ton of information out of this. So data wrangling, analysis, and A-B testing with SQL. Notice that there's a significant drop off in the ratings here. I think that people are maybe having some difficulties understanding the connection between the concepts and it might seem a little bit jumpy uh, and that's totally fair. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. 
So course two, data wrangling, analysis, and A-B testing with SQL. This course allows you to apply the SQL skills taught in SQL for data science to four increasingly complex and authentic data science inquiry case studies. We'll learn how to convert timestamps of all types to common formats and perform date time calculations. You know, it's kind of silly that they're saying that, but actually it's true that just working with dates is gets really irritating. So it's good that they go over all that stuff. Uh, we'll select and perform the optimal join for data science inquiry and clean data within an analysis data set by deduping, running quality checks, backfilling, and handling nulls. So some of the more irritating stuff that comes up here, there's a lot of that. They're going to teach you how to basically get rid of that or, uh, or make it easier. They'll teach you how to make your life easier, basically. Uh, and given a predictive analysis need, we'll engineer a feature from raw data using the tools and skills that we've built over the course the real world application of these skills will give you the framework for performing the analysis of an A-B test. Okay, so maybe not go too much into the A-B testing, but it's a kind of the data engineering piece around that, which is great. So distributed computing with Spark SQL, really, really important. Uh, and if you came from my channel, there's actually a decent chance that uh, you came from one of my Spark videos. Uh, this course is all about big data. It's for students with SQL experience that want to take the next step on their data journey by learning distributed computing using Apache Spark. Okay, it is the next step. I really like that phrasing. SQL is one of the first steps and you could take it even just a tiny step further, maybe understand a little bit about the distributed computing underneath. You don't necessarily even have to, but to actually learn just how to use Spark is a very, very, very common skill uh, you might want to use it on your own time and absolutely in a company, uh, they will want you to use this. It's probably going to continue to grow for quite a while. So I'm not going to go into all the details on this, but it's very, very important. So please get that done. Uh, and this is a project, so it has very few reviews. I'm not going to read about this. Basically, the point is, you know, you have a few courses and then you're going to do some sort of project to cap it off. It doesn't really matter how high quality this project is. It's going to get you the specialization certificate if you get that done. So get that done. Um, you know, of course, you do have to pay for the certificate if that's something that you want. Um, if you're not going to do the certificate, you may or may not want to bother with this piece. Uh, so what I would recommend from this is absolutely course one and course three. Uh, course two, I think, is uh, maybe a little bit optional, but probably still very useful. And course four, I would definitely say is, is the least useful. But, you know, definitely if you're doing the specialization as a whole, uh, just just do it. You know, it's good to practice things. So, you know, I'm very, uh, very big fan of this. Uh, and it's a beginner level, so you don't need any sort of experience. You just go in, um, start learning SQL. It gets more and more complicated. It's a skill that every data scientist, analyst, engineer, really everybody needs to know. Um, and it's just phenomenal stuff. So huge fan of that. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this video, you know, take a look at my other videos, uh, see if there's something that interests you and then subscribe to the channel. If you want to stay up to date, uh, if this video in particular brought you value, maybe drop a like, I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video guys.